Hello, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Let's spend the week together in New York City. We're gonna start by taking a shower and getting ready for a little day date. Good morning, New York City. Self tan last night, so I've got my personality back. I'm gonna do my makeup and touch up my hair. But before I get ready, I really wanted to order groceries. Your girl's in her saving money era, and I've been trying to do like a big grocery order at the start of the week, and I just don't eat out. It's really nice. Well, I mean, like, I'll go out to dinner with friends today. I'm going on a brunch date, but I haven't been ordering Uber Eats, like, literally at all, which is huge for me. Um, and I just need to make sure I have enough snacks and things here that, like, you know, I can make good choices, I can make bad choices. But I have it on my list today to uh, order groceries for the week. But I need to figure out what meals I want to make first. So I go on Pinterest to get inspired. I just searched, like, easy, healthy dinner. And I'm going to try to find, like, two recipes or something that I can make and have leftovers of and stuff. Because I am eating out, I think, a few times this week. Maybe three meals or something. I like this idea, like a Greek sort of bowl. I've done this before, but like a, you know, salmon. I really like mini potatoes roasted and then like a green. I'll find something else. All right, placing my order. Did a very quick beat. <laughs> That's what we even want to call it. Light makeup. I've been trying to avoid my eyes for makeup because I'm having some dry skin. I put on a little bit of concealer, but nothing crazy. It's kind of giving middle school art teacher, but like, I like it. The denim dress is from Cezanne. I think it's fun. It's thick and warm. Then I'm wearing just like a white long sleeve like t-shirt underneath just to stay warm. And then I'm wearing black tights. These are also from Cezanne and black boots. So it's a nice like warm fit. And then I'll do my black purse and my winter coat because it's 20 degrees. <laughs> I'm home now. I put on this skim shirt and I realized you could just see my bra through it. Like it's giving uh, mean girls, you know, and they cut the holes in the boobs or whatever. On the note of bras, a little TMI, but eh, no, it's not. My bra size changed a little bit, I guess, like since I started, you know, working out or whatever. I think I just like went down like a cup size or whatever, not anything crazy. But I got my favorite bra, the Spanx bra Lalouia in my new size and I'm just like, God, I forgot what it's like to have a bra where I feel like a woman, you know? I'm here for a comfortable bra. This is definitely like still comfortable, but it is, it lifts, it puts them in place. I know you can kind of see it through this shirt, but like, I feel like because it lifts and puts them in place, like it gives my body like a shape, you know? And I love a seamless bra, don't get me wrong. But like this, I'm like, oh, hello. Like I feel like it, you know, it totally, you could totally see it through. I'm gonna put on uh, sweatpants because I'm double layered up. I'm wearing leggings actually under these pants right now and because uh, I need to move my car. So I just came up quickly. What else is on docket for the rest of the day? I have to pay some bills, really riveting adult stuff. Waiting for my groceries to come and then I'll probably make like one meal or something or start to prep some of that stuff. Brunch was great. I highly suggest it's called Gertrude's, I think. Gertrude's in Prospect Heights. I'm watching The Traders on Peacock. Iconic reality cast. I used to be so into reality shows and I took a little bit of a break. I don't know. I just like wasn't into any at the time, but this cast is so good because it's like people from Big Brother, people from Real Housewives. Um, Pilot Pete is there survivor random shows on netflix and stuff it's a random cast but i kind of love it i feel like i just needed like good like junk tv even though it's not even that junk but i needed this kind of tv i have clothes folded that i need to put away sun is setting waiting for my groceries to be delivered i used instacart that's like what i've been using for grocery delivery let me know if you guys have a preference. I don't know necessarily what's the cheapest, but I know Instacart has Wegmans and I really like Wegmans because I like their produce, I like their meats. I just, I like the quality of the food. Not that I'm one to judge the quality. I literally had Kraft mac and cheese for dinner last night and I consider that high quality. So what I am gonna do is take my supplements because on top of it being 20 degrees and cold and miserable, everybody's getting sick. So, you know, I gotta take my supplements. Ugh, they're like huge pills, which sucks. I need someone to be here when I take my multivitamin. There's a choking hazard. <sighs> gotta do it. And I take my seed. Oof. Hello everyone, good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing okay, I stayed up a little too late, which means that I sabotaged the next day. Like then I ended up hitting snooze on my alarm, I didn't get a good start to the week, but it's okay. I'm putting on this cozy sweatshirt. Is it fully dry? 
maybe not. I let it air dry because I wanted to keep it cozy. Does it ever do that? I feel like when I have like a really, really comfy sweatshirt, I don't necessarily want to put it in the dryer because sometimes it ruins the material. But I don't know. This is my friend TK's merch. Shout out. I'm gonna go to Soul Cycle. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do on this cold Monday morning. Honestly, there's not even like snow really on the ground anymore. Maybe a it's a little icy over here, but I've been straight up wearing my snow boots because they're warm. They like go up my ankle. I got these when I lived in Boston. These and my winter coat, and they have proven to be like the best investment for me because what is this, year five with them or something? Um, and they're so warm, they're ugh. They are really great. And you could wear them two ways. I really like that. So you could like roll them up and kind of do it like that, or you can have more of like the fur showing, you know, like Ugg style. It's just cold outside. So I'm like, all right, anything I can do for extra warmth, my toes get very cold. They always have, you know, those memes where it's like me putting my feet on someone. That is me to a T. Like my feet are just little icicles. I don't know if that's poor circulation or what. I told my doctor about it once. She was like, yeah, a lot of women have that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get a good workout in, a good sweat so that I feel good. A bunch of random stuff I wanna do today and I do wanna cook. Last night I just ate buttered noodles for dinner and that was fine, that's fine. Honestly, my stomach was bothering me a little bit. So sometimes you just need to have like a plain beige carb to like neutralize my rationalization i don't know tonight we're going to actually make something like like a good meal okay quite the fit right now it'll it's fun i look so tough i have pimple patches all over my freaking face every time i pass a fire station in the city i think about my dad and how he used to work in the city as a firefighter and my gosh what a king king shit Firefighters in the city, that is, it is just such an incredibly difficult job. They work so hard. Like, I feel like it already, being a firefighter itself is so hard, so difficult, but then doing it in a city like New York where it's just so like dense in population and getting around is hard. He used to drive the fire truck. I'm like, I could barely drive a car. King shit. Anyways, this one's so beautiful. It's the hand warmers that I crack every day. Today's a little bit warmer too. It's like 30 degrees instead of 20. Just marinated some salmon. We're gonna put it in the air fryer. Soy sauce, olive oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I'm going to cook those. Maybe I'll try making the um, chicken cutlets in the air fryer. I feel like that would be good. And then I don't have to fry them in oil. Not that I have a problem with oil. I mean, there's a lot of oil in this marinade. I'm just gonna have the chopped salad for lunch and put the salmon on top and then I'll make like the bowls for dinners and I have a considerable amount of work I'm to get done now. This is the easiest thing ever. I'm trying to be good financially and eat better. This is what we do. A little salad first. You know, it's not as good as like a sweet green or something like that, but it it's not bad. It could be way worse. Our dressing, our toppings. I just want to make sure there's no nuts in this one. This recipe said to flip them over halfway through, so that is what we will do. They cook up pretty fast, I feel like, in the air fryer. They look really good and flavorful. Don't mind my Olaplex bun, clean girl. I did just decide to throw that in. That's why I look like this. May or may not have eaten, like, most of that salmon. I just started eating and just plowed it down. It tasted so good marinating it and, like, the soy sauce. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I wanted to get in my closet. <laughs> I have some outfits that I might wear to future Girls in the Go shows, but I did a little bit of closet clean out and I was like looking through and looking at some of my nicer items that I have like from past live shows and whatnot, thinking about like what to do with them the past few weeks. I just signed up for Pickle. It's an app and you can rent my clothes on it. So I'm going to list some of my like nicer pieces on there and you can pay. And if you live in New York City, it's delivered via courier. Um, so, you know, like this outfit that I wore to Danielle's birthday party and like, or maybe this like really nice dress I wore to my cousin's wedding. And it's already dry cleaned. It comes to you, you wear it, you send it back to me. I dry clean it. So the price includes the dry cleaning, probably like 60 to like a hundred bucks, depending on like how nice the item is and how long you need it and stuff like that. I just wanted to say that I am doing that now because I just wanted to know like the most efficient way to be able to lend my clothes out to you guys. And I feel like this is it because it just has like a little bit more protection just in case like the garment gets like ruined or something. You know, it's not just necessarily like, we're, like your word versus mine. Like it's a, a little more, 
trusted i guess and it just keeps clothes in the clothing cycle like you guys know i'm always a fan of like renting clothes borrowing because i was just thinking about the amount of weddings that i have this year and like i just cannot be out here buying thousand dollar dresses for every one of those weddings like it's just that's not on my bingo card for this year i'm trying to save money um <laughs> i'm listing some of my past live show outfits things like that i have so, i have like really nice pieces that i feel like haven't gotten enough wear like this gorgeous self-portrait dress i have some really really nice pieces and i want them to be worn and loved and you know taken good care of so my pickle account i think it's just brooke m you could check it out or just probably type in brooke michio and it will be there so i just wanted to put the word out there that that's there and they are seemingly this is like my first time doing this but like it's a seemingly really cool small business and danielle has said really positive things about them so i'm excited to doing that the next place i live i need to just get a closet organizer from the start it's not bad like i've seen some closets that i'm like wow oh my gosh what a mess this is like it actually does make sense and it's like organized pretty well it's not like bursting like you guys see i actually went through and got rid of a bunch of clothes donated them and sold them and stuff because um look at all these hangers that we have but the next place i live i definitely need to be more methodical and like just from the start i think either work with someone or really really make it happen because i feel like the closet's the type of thing that i'm so blessed to have this space but i probably could have maximized it a bit more this is pretty organized like by color i want to those by color i don't know not bad another thing that i wish i knew slash wish i did is get a dresser that had more storage this dresser i think it's from west elm absolutely gorgeous but the drawers are just not very deep they're not very organized either but if i fill them up too much then they don't close i just feel like there are dressers that have like bigger like they don't open really all the way like so that you know you can't see like what's back here um and i feel like i was like oh it doesn't matter like it's a, it's really pretty but if you want to maximize your storage you gotta not do that you know and this little portion of my room is just a mess but i don't like where does everybody put these products i really do have the type of brain that i need to keep what i use every day out and i know it doesn't look the most like aesthetically pleasing i feel like i go to my friend's houses and like it's probably half the people have something like you know have the other products out and half the people don't my brain is in the way of like I need the products that I use every day to be out. I, not that I use every single one of these every day, but like I use a, a body lotion every day. I use a perfume every day. Just got this new thing of Aquaphor that I love. <laughs> you get it. And mentally, I'm still in the like era where we would like keep all of our body care and like perfumes and like Bath and Body Works collection out as like a look. And I guess that we're out of that now. <laughs> this note's from my mom. That's cute, right? I've had it since I moved here. Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday. Today, I have a bunch of phone calls, meetings, if you will, that I want to actually look cute for because I'm meeting some new people, you know, business people on Zoom. And then I'm going to take some photos and some outfits. I need to do this because I've just been indoors and I have, haven't been leaving my apartment so much or like dressing up and looking cute. And I just want to do that today. Not that I'm a huge fashion girly, but I have like, a few pieces that i got gifted from some brands that i definitely want to you know post some content in was gonna work out today but decided i'm gonna take the day off i'm just a little sore yesterday's soul cycle was very hard i took cameron's class we've been doing this new thing where we pedal like you bike while you're holding your weights out or even overhead and my gosh my abs are sore 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 so i have to figure out what i'm wearing today for the pictures that i want to take i'm thinking an outfit where i wear like all shades of like cream or white could be cute because i have a white jacket i want to take pictures in i'm not sure if these pants really go but i do like these pants they're from Aritzia. Aritzia is the best like pants like trousery pants i feel like if i still worked a corporate job i would be shopping at Aritzia for those pants it does go with the pants but it doesn't really go with the white jacket i got this little i've been so into these like little jackets from brands j crew calls it a lady jacket but it's like a mix between a cardigan and like a jacket you know it's a little bit thicker than a cardigan but it's nice right it's cute that's from uh saison this is so freaking cute it's from maj it's very nice style it's a little like skirt actually so in the front it looks like it's like a pleated skirt but then in the back it's just black shorts which we love it's honestly very practical so i feel like this would be really cute for a fit with 
These are all for like three different like three different moments going on. Finished a book and I have a wreck for you guys. First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. It's more of a mystery. There's not really like blood or gore or anything like that. It's just kind of like fast paced, got me from the start. I almost expected it to be even better because it got me so much from the start. It's set in the South, which I actually like because it like reminds me of college and stuff a little bit, just with the references and stuff. It was a good one. I gave it 3.75 out of five stars. I would say like, if you need a good thriller, add this to your list. It's pretty quick. Might be a good one to like get back into reading or you know, if you um, maybe are changing genres and you like, you know, want to read a thriller or like a mystery. Sometimes I need one of those to kind of like pick me back up into reading because they usually like leave me guessing and like make my brain work. Not that other books don't, but I'm like, con you know, creating theories over here versus when I read something that's maybe more like contemporary fiction or romance, I'm just kind of like enjoying the plot and like on the journey. So just finished that. And now I'm going to read The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Let's do it. The Kindle is so great for stuff like this because like I just downloaded it, you know? Like I'm like, oh, next book. Okay, downloaded, no excuses. I don't have to like wait for it to come in the mail or go pick it up. So this is what I'm reading. I read another book by him and I thought it was okay. So I'm hoping that I'll like this one more. The other one that I read was kind of like supernatural. And I think that this one's just like a classic thriller, so. Before my calls start, I figured I would run to the store because you guys saw I didn't get the chicken. So I need to get chicken so I can make chicken cutlets. This is just one of the outfits that I had picked out. Very simple, but it's like this, the jacket that I showed you. And I love these jeans right now from J. Crew. They're super wide. When I stand together, maybe not so much, but they definitely are very wide. I wish they were a little longer so that they covered more of the shoe, but they're, a really flattering fit actually considering how baggy they are. I feel like I like it. And I'm wearing Uggs because I'm just running into the store. Now I know this isn't my warmest coat, but it goes more. I would much rather wear my kind of a goose. And then the scarf is also from Saison. It's very my style. Just a casual little grocery store run. The headphones stay on. Okay, the pictures have been shot. The meetings are done. I actually took some of the photos on my little Actually, it was Ben's growing up, uh, his Nikon cool pics, but he, he gave it to me. So I haven't taken pictures on it in a while. Changed into sweatpants. These are from Aerie. They are so incredibly soft. I'll try to link them down below. I think that they're like 20 bucks. We love Aerie. We stan Aerie. I feel like I don't talk about music like a ton, a ton on this channel, but for those of you who know, you know I'm an EDM girly. I like a beep and a bop. Um, but I found this artist, Barry Can't Swim is the name. It's just one guy, Barry, but so into the music. It's like lighter EDM and I just, I love it. So I just wanted to recommend you guys. It's called Barry Can't Swim if you're looking for any like new artists or whatever to get into your new year. I have a playlist on Spotify. It's like house and like kind of like techno and stuff that is perfect for like working out, getting hype, any of those moods. Now I'm comfy cozy. Gonna look through these photos and then I have another call and then we're gonna make dinner in a little bit. Chicken cutlets are being fried. I pretty much did the same thing I did last time except I used the Pecorino Romano cheese instead. And I only made two this time because it's just me. I'm going to get in bed now. Why do I have such big knots in my hair? Am I okay? I set my alarm for super early because I'm going to take a early morning soul cycle class like 7 a.m. And I have a bunch of stuff I need to do tomorrow before we record in the afternoon. And I know 7 a.m. might not sound crazy. Actually, I used to work, wake up for work at like five something. I don't know, someone can go reference those old vlogs for that, but it was like dumb how early it was. And I know that that's the reality for a lot a lot of people, but I had to commute to work. I literally think I was waking up at like 5.30, maybe five, but I also just wasn't sleeping and like wasn't taking care of myself. So that just was overall not good. If you go to bed really early, like the 5 a.m. wake up thing, I think that's killer, that's great. But I just like don't go to bed until like midnight, 1 a.m. So that's on me. That, but that's a me problem, you know? Yeah, we're gonna start this new book. Sorry, I have all my skincare on, I'm loading. I'll look better tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. So, you know, I feel amazing. I got Starbucks because I have a gift card. So I have a gift card from Christmas, got breakfast and coffee because it's free. I have a gift card. I'm not gonna lie, like I do feel better than everyone. <laughs> I feel so good because it's 8.20. I, I, I'm home already, I'm done with my workout. I got my breakfast sandwich. I got my coffee. 
I only drank like a little sip of the coffee this morning. I, you know, I like to sit and enjoy it and I didn't really have the time this morning. But now I'm going to shower and start getting ready for the day. Big day. We're recording two episodes of the podcast, some calls, and then we have a meeting after we record the podcast. So I just want to like look cute today, feel my best. I always had the spin fat wrap. Thank you. The fit of the day. I tried to go for something like this yesterday, but it didn't really work. But I think it's working today. I just went for like all whites, like cream. I really like these pants from Maritzia. They fit super well. They have like an elastic in the back, but then in the front, they're real pants. And I feel like they're nice, but not too crazy formal. And they're really comfortable. And then the sweater is J. Crew. They're like slightly different shades of like cream, but I kind of feel like that's the vibe. And then I'm just wearing these Nike sneakers because I'm gonna be walking around the city and taking the subway and stuff. So I just wanted sneakers for that. Kind of beat my face. I'm actually going to get my hair done. I'm just getting a gloss that like I normally do every like month, month and a half or so. And I figured doing it right before I have two podcast recordings would be smart because then I'll have my hair done. I just feel more confident when I have my hair done. So it's like a little reward. Noah Khan, what does he say? Season of the sticks? No, it's the season of the buttered noodles. That is what the season is. I just got home. We did a meeting after we recorded two episodes. Honestly, these butter noodles are all that fits me right now. I did get a few things at Chick-fil-A, so that's what I spent money on today. And Subway, but you know, and I got my hair done, I guess. Oh my God. There could have been so many other unnecessary things. Like, you know, I could have just been like, oh, I want to, you know, go get a smoothie or just, you know, uh, but you know, I was like, no, babe, we have food at home. The hair definitely was extra. I mean, but it looks so good. Actually, it totally curled up on the walk home, so just disregard that. I'm just hacking off some of this butter. I'm just dumping her in the pan. So I talked a little bit about saving money and like my goals with all of that, I guess. When did I talk about that? On the podcast today, not really a ton. Like, you know, people are like, what's your exact strategy and stuff? Like, I, I'm just trying to be better. Like, no Uber Eats, no unnecessary Ubers. I literally walked home in the rain today. I was like, nope, girl, you're I'm not spending money on an Uber. Like, you better walk your ass home. Not to say that I'm not going to Uber and not to say that I'm not, you know, going to Uber Eats if I'm in a pinch, but like, I'm really limiting that. I'm um, trying to, you know, use gift cards and take advantage of, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm very blessed for, to do this as a job where I get... A lot of really cool perks and things like where it's like oh come like try this restaurant for free and whatever and i just feel like i need to be taking better advantage of that not that that's applicable budgeting advice for everyone but i want to be real like that is like you know candid real that's my journey for this year is just to be more real also why i'm really really motivated with saving money right now in a pretty short period of time is because i have a really big financial goal and I have to say, having a goal is making it a lot easier to conceptualize doing these things and cutting back and whatever. Like, you know, this weekend's coming up. A lot of social things require money. You know, I might not be doing stuff this weekend, but I am going to Charlotte for, we're doing a live show there. That's a job. <laughs> no, but I am seeing my friends, um, two of my college best friends, Maddie and Mariah, and we're going to go out and we're going to have fun, of course. I'm like, okay, so this weekend I won't do anything, but like, I'll see them next weekend, you know? So like I'll save money here, whatever. I need a goal. Like I need something to work towards. If I'm just like, oh, I just, I'm like, you know, trying to spend, no, I need a tangible goal, something that like I'm actually reaching for. Not even just financial. This is really any element of my life. If I really want to put in the work, when whatever it is, like when I was on like a weight loss journey, I was like, I got a goal, let's hit it. You know, even with dating, I was like, I was done with being single. I was done with dating really shitty guys. I was like, let's make this happen then let's let's it, go out with a lot of different people and find out what i like you know not to say that i'm this crazy motivated person but i i know that i have the capacity to do whatever i put my mind to and that is why i'm kind of in this mode right now it's a pretty vague goal right now so there's nothing to really update you guys on and i will you know keep you in the loop with what's going on but just know that i have some specific financial goals this is like what i've heard on like self-help podcasts they say like who's they instead of looking at things like oh i have to cut back like i can't go out with my friends i can't do this i can't do that instead you look at what you're adding to your life instead like oh i'm adding in more self-care nights at home even though i feel like i do that a lot already but you know more intentional i am adding in cooking i did make chicken cutlets yesterday i'm gonna heat up a chicken cutlet with this because this is and this is giving baby dinner like what is this you know even talking to danielle about it she's like wow you're like you know so really motivated and like willing to you know cut back whatever it's because i have a really really specific goal i know i can do it so that's that on that
I don't know what the difference is between the pink salt and the regular, but I, I do like this one. It does look good. So I'm gonna microwave this. I could put it on top. Plain pasta and a chicken bowl is legit the meal my grandma would make me. I was a picky eater. Cannot get enough of these jeans. They're those J. Crew wide leg. I will link them down below. Um, I don't think that they were too expensive actually. Um, I took a 27. I'm trying to say take now instead of wear. Um, and then I'm just wearing this big sweater. I think that this is from Me and M. Can't decide if I like this look together, but I feel like it's kind of giving chic. Not necessarily the sneakers, but it is raining outside. So I just wanted like a cozy casual look today. And then I'll wear my Aritzia coat over this. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. Um, I want to do more weekly vlogs and I know that you guys like them because it's like, you know, a progression of multiple days. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more longer vlogs, weekly vlogs, because um, it lets me know that you like them. Okay, bye.